hello everyone point number 18 so when we finish the last one we uh, this is the way we finish it it's like uh, we can favor it and we can unfavor it but like you have like no, no user experience at all uh, why we got that it's because the front end don't receive uh, the boolean is favorite so the boolean who told uh, each uh, tweet if the user has favorite him or, or not so this is what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna do this in here inside the get tweet. So the plan is finally, we need to take off the favorite tweet um, uh, uh, document, and we need to take out all the uh, the tweet we're gonna send. And what we're gonna do it's after that we're gonna need to see if the favorite tweet have the 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 um, uh, the, the tweet in question. So one singular tweet inside the tweet array if yes that means it's favorite if not that means if not it, it's not so this is what we're gonna do so the first thing we need to do is we make sure that we have the favorite tweet uh, before so just to make sure you understand what i mean it's first thing we need sorry first thing we need it's we need to see here then we have three tweet and here we have access to the id so that's this is what we're gonna match you're gonna see what i mean in, in a moment so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say p1 for premises number one and I'm gonna do my tweet that fine created right there. Just like that, no await, you're gonna see why. Just like this. After that, I'm gonna see P2, which is gonna be another premises. I'm gonna say favorite tweets that find one, because each user have one. I'm gonna see user ID equal to the user that underscore ID we get from the context right there. That's it, I'm gonna delete that for now. After that, what I'm gonna do, it's I'm gonna make use of a premises that all who finally create a promises that is resolved with an array of result when all of the provide promises result or reject when any promises is reject. So here, finally we can pass an array of promises, and they're gonna came in the same order. So because we put p1, this is tweet, we can say tweets, and the second one's gonna be my favorites like that. Be really good to go right now. So what are we gonna do here? Is so we're gonna say we're gonna create a new variable called tweets to send. Who's going to be equal to tweet that reduce? And here we're going to finally create a function where we're going to start with an empty array by default. I know this is surely not the best way to do this, but for now we're going to manage it with this way. You're going to see what I mean. So reduce all reduce work. It's reduce, take an accumulation, a previous value, a current value. So uh, like an accumulation. So the first one is going to be the array we have here. And the second one, we're going to say that's going to be a tweet, so a singular tweet. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to say, first thing, we're going to need to have the tweet as a JSON object because it don't came by default. We're going to say tweet, tweet that JSON, uh, to JSON, like that. After that, we're going to say if my favorite, that tweet, so I mean this array here, favorite that tweet, and I'm gonna use the sum, who finally, a function that accept up to three arguments, the method gonna stop if we find one. So that mean, you're gonna stop if, example, the first value, if the thing we search, you're gonna stop, you don't gonna go at the end. It's not like a for loop, it's just like, kind of, not a guard, but like, I go over until I get something, if not, I'm gonna go over the end. And here we're gonna say, here we're gonna have a T for tweet, and we're gonna say T that equal, so we're gonna check if the tweet have the same tweet ID. Then, uh, so one of the tweet have the same ID as the tweet we have here from the one. So this is the each tweet coming in from this one here. And now, here what I'm gonna say it's if it's that. So that means if it's there. So I mean I have it. I'm gonna say array. So this array that push. Well, I'm gonna say dot 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 tw. So I'm going to want to have all my objects. So I'm going to merge my tweet object. And I'm going to also have a value called is favorite. I'm going to say true. That's it. Else, I'm going to say array that push the same value. But my is favorite now is going to be false. I don't have it. It's not inside my array. And now, at the end, don't forget to return the array inside the reduce. Make sure. So this way, when we get here, that become the array we just modified. 
and now here we can return finally to it that cell. So now we're gonna save and we're gonna check in the simulator by refreshing if everything is still working. It's still working, but now how can I test it? This is really a question you have. So I'm gonna go to my mobile side, I'm gonna open the simulator, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my get tweet query. And when we get the all of the tweet, I'm gonna say is favorite. So the same value we just create right there. And now look what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go to my feed car. I'm gonna have it as a props here because as you remember inside the home screen, we spread all the item we get is favorite. And now what I can do is I can say feed car button is favorite is favorite like that. And now my feed car button, that's why it always stay false. But now if I say is favorite right there and I remove it, now look at the magic if everything works. Why did that? Because here we have it. If it's favorite true, it's red. If not, it's gray. And now look. All real time. Why here did all the value change? Is because as you remember, we take the favorite con and we pass it everywhere. Here if you want, I can say zero and I'm gonna say zero. Now if I do this, I click and you see, and if we look at the server side, I'm going to click, so you see everything happening. So now with the optimistic CQI, that's why we get this thing. So I hope you enjoyed what we just did. I mean, yeah, yeah that was pretty easy because we did all the logic almost. So we just did, so I'm going to just go back over what we've done. But this part here, you need to understand that it's really important. If you want to be really good in JavaScript now, you need to understand the premises that are. What that means finally, it's we have two premises. We know here it's two premises. You know, we did that always with the, like here, we return like that because Apollo can, uh, not Apollo, but GraphQL can receive a, 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 a premises. But you see, it's all premises. All the stuff coming from Mongo's are premises. And here, when we did await premises at all, it just finally, we just call the premises. We're going to just finish when all of them are going to stop. For sure, I should have put await and await. It just, I want you, I want you to see another kind of way. And now here, when we do reduce, make, we just finally create a new array. And we just iterate over each of the tweet. If the tweet is already inside the favorite uh, tweet array, we're going to push inside the array. We want to return the tweet as an object. Plus is favorite true, so we merge. So everything like the title and the the, the 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 tweet himself and the user, everything we push it here, and we add the value is favorite. So you need to understand that what happened here. It's almost like we have an object called name. Who it's an uh, called user. Who is going to be user like name uh, Emmanuel? And now here I can say con user one, and I can say uh, country uh, Canada, like that. Now if I say con new user, and I say dot 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 user and dot 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 user one I'm gonna get finally uh, this object I'm gonna get name Emmanuel and I'm gonna get country Canada like that why the dot it's because if I don't do the dot but I do just like this what I'm gonna get it's my object it's gonna be another object when I'm gonna have name and here I'm gonna have another object where I'm gonna have the country but by doing the dot 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 I just show you this is what we got. We merge one object with the other one. It's almost like the object assigned. So I hope you learn a bit. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. So what we're gonna do in the next one is we're gonna make it working with subscription. So if you like it inside another, uh, like another um, mobile, uh, another cell phone, I'm gonna see the pop-ups coming in for there. So this is what we, st we still need to do. It's to have it a subscription working, so for the real time like. We need here to have the profile where we're gonna see all of the tweet and the, the, the stuff, so with some UI. Plus what we're gonna need to do, it's also have the placeholder, because right now this is how that works. It's that gonna refresh. And we're gonna have like the refreshing you see here, and like that, but now what I want is I want like kind of the placeholder of Facebook, like we have the placeholder, we'll just keep loading and gonna receive the element. So I hope you enjoy, and we're gonna talk later. Have a good day. Bye.